Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video, we are going to learn about bone constraints and to be more specific, we are going to learn about location bone constraint. So let's get started. For adding a bone constraint, first we need an armature and inside the armature, we need a lot of bones. Um, not exactly a lot of, but uh, have as many bones as you want. So I'll have this three bones and now I'll also extrude the uh, this bone like this um, okay so now let me turn on the naming system so in the armature I'll just turn on the names now let's go into the pose mode by hitting control tab um, now let's go into the bone properties to add the bone constraint now I'll add a bone constraint on this second bone now in the inside the constraints the constraint that we are looking on today is copy location select that now copy location will copy the location of any of the target that we set over here so first thing i'll select the armature and then inside the armature i want my bone number two to follow the bone number one so i'll just select the bone number one now it is following the bone um, exactly now to see the effect more prominently um I'll just make this bone a little bit bigger like that. Now let's go to the pose mode again. Um, now, as you can see, my uh, bone is following the bone, like my bone number two is following the bone number one. And if I move the bone number one, uh, bone number two moves with it. Now select the constraint bone and let's see some of the toggles or some of the options that we have. So the first thing is head and tail. So this slider um, makes the connection between those two bones, uh, whether the um, whether the constrained bone is going to follow the uh, tail of the bone uh, or the head of the bone. So my bone number two is now following the tail. Um, now, if I move the bone again, the bone number one, the bone number two is following the tail. And now if I rotate it, as you can see, uh, my bone it is now following the bone number one uh, from its tail now if I select this again and then move the slider 50% uh, like this now it will follow both of them uh, but 50 50 so yeah it is going to stay at the center uh, might be useful in some cases now if I move it down till over there now it is following the head of the bone uh, which is complete uh, location now if i select my uh, constraint bone again uh, we have the axis to follow so which axis do we want to map to now suppose i don't want the z axis but only the uh, x and y then i can just um, disable that um, and suppose I also don't want Y to be followed. I only want the location to be copied in the X axis. So now if I take this, move it on the X, as you can see, it is moving on the X, but it is not taking any other uh, data. Like it is not moving on the Z, not on the Y. Uh, by the way, we are at the local axis of this bone because as you can see, we are at the local and a great way to visualize the local axis which is uh, actually really needed um, when you are making your constraints um, so just turn on the axis in your armature properties and just bring this slider either to the tail or the head wherever you like it i like it in the 50 percent position at the center so now if i move the bone in the world coordinate now we are going to talk about coordinate system in a bit now let's see some other options so i'll just turn on uh, every one of them now as you can see we actually cannot rotate the constraint bone itself but to make it happen like to, if you want uh, the control if you want to move the constraint bone itself just check on the offset button and now you can move this bone freely wherever you want now it will also follow the constraint but also now you can move this bone independently now i don't want offset because i want to explain something further now the target and the owner now this is from which coordinate system do you want to copy 
the location from so now uh, as you know that uh, I don't know if uh, you all know about uh, difference between the local and global coordinate system so I'll just uh, demonstrate it roughly so let me take a cube in the scene and now as you can see this cube um, it is uh, its front its y is facing the global y now this is your world coordinate system uh, in the world wherever your y is pointing is front wherever your x is pointing is side and wherever your z is pointing is up now this is global coordinate system and now if i rotate my cube anyway my y is still pointing in the global y direction now if i make this local axis as you can see uh, this part is my cube's front part you can say so its front is now facing that way its front is now facing this way so this is its local coordinate system so same as that in the bones um, we have which coordinates to follow so with an example um, let us make the target to the world space and my uh, owner to the local space so if i move in the uh, let's move in the global x axis as you can see the x of this bone uh, is now transferred to the x or uh, local x of this uh, bone which is obviously the side view is facing the same way now if i move on the y it will move up and down because what will happen is we are taking targets global uh, global um, transform or global coordinate which is moving in the y direction of the globally but we are inputting that same y in the local axis so if i move this y uh, the local y will get affected with the same value uh, and now if I move in the Z direction, this will move to the global Y. As you can see that the bone is moving front and back. So now if I make both of them local coordinate, so all the bone has now returned to its original uh, uh, location. Um, now if I move this, uh, that bone moves with it. Uh, and now it will copy um, every location of itself this is something that you have to experience by yourself um, the more you use this tool the more you'll get it now just one last thing that i want to show is now i'll remove this constraint and then i'll add another constraint which is again like not another constraint but copy location again and now let's select the armature and then let me select the bone number three now it is again copying the uh, whole location and rotation like uh, sorry the uh, position of it so let me just set it to local space and now uh, if i set uh, it to head and if i move this nothing actually happens but if i rotate this uh, that bone is moving that but actually i don't want it like that i want uh, it to affect with the location as well so there is another coordinate system which is uh, local with parent so if you select that in the target because obviously the target bone is from where we are copying it as you can see here the bone number three if i select that and if i now move the bottom bone you'll see that both the bones are moving right now so in the y direction in the x direction and also if i rotate this the both the bones uh, like this bone is also copying the location of that and if i rotate this nothing is happening uh, because now we are uh, getting it with respect to the parent of the bone also one last thing uh, the influence uh, you can animate this value so it will be like um, turning this constraint on and off so you can turn the constraint this is almost like a weight of that constraint uh, so yeah it is a really handy parameter when you want to animate uh, location for a certain period of time for certain animations um, yeah you can turn this uh, on and off uh, by animating it so yeah that 
was the copy location bone constraint if you like this video or learned something hit like subscribe and share thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next bone constraint which is copy rotation so till then bye bye